Hi, I'm Madeline from Tune Slings and this is how to use the Mini Monkey Mini Sling. So we're going to start off by popping this out of its bag, um, finding the clip. So this goes at the back, I'm going to put it over my head and spread this out on my shoulder. Great, so I'm going to spread this out on my shoulder. Now depending on whether I want baby more to the front or more to the side, I'm just going to position this accordingly, checking that this clip is somewhere vaguely that I can get to it. Um, and now I'm going to pull this strap just enough to make space for my baby, but not too much, just so I don't have too much work to do. So I probably only want about an elbow's width or thereabouts. So now I'm ready to go get my baby. And I'm just gonna start by calming them on my shoulder, comforting them, talk to them, anything is normal and then I'm just going to slide their legs in to this rope. So I'm not going to spread it out straight away. First of all, I am going to take a moment to spread it to just get them sat next to me, get them sat against me however is comfortable. So I'm going for more on my hip. However, if you have a smaller baby, you can go more on your front or you can go even more to your hip. I'm just going to take a moment to make sure this is somewhere I can get to it and that it feels and that baby is sat nicely and their bum's got a chance to droop. Again, if it was feeling very loose and not at all supportive at this point, we can tighten up that back strap. Um, again, easier to do now than later, but you can do it later too. I'll never talk you through that. So now when we're happy, I'm going to start spreading this over baby's bottom. So I'm going to spread this out so I've reached that top part, spread that out, and this hand's acting as a brake to stop that popping out. And now depending on the age of my stage of my baby, I can stop here under the arms if they've got very good upper torso control and they want to have their arms out. Or if they're a little bit littler, I can bring put their arms in and bring this up to the back of their neck. Um, anything extra just stays behind the back of their knees or tucks under the bum. If they are much smaller than this and we have quite a lot or the seed feels quite baggy or it doesn't feel like enough at the neck, we can actually roll this make it a little bit thicker and you can roll it as many times as you need. This size doll doesn't really need it but particularly little babies might need that. And then this strap here plugs in here and this is what's making this carrier much tighter, at, you know, nice and secure at the top. Whether or not you've got the arms in, out or wherever, this tightens up that top part of the carrier and then we can tighten it so that it's at the right tension. Um, so key things to be aware of and and notice with this sling is that you, it only has those two adjustments. It has this bit at the back, which affects the size of the pouch. So if at this point this was feeling loose or baggy, I would lift baby's bum and tighten that back panel. And that's going to keep that bit nice and tight. So it affects the height of baby's bum and whether this feels nice and snug. And then this part is the part that keeps the top part of the baby tight. And that's affected by this. So if this wasn't done up, you can see it would be very floppy and that wouldn't feel very secure. But whether baby has their arms in or arms out, this part helps keep it nice and tight under the back of their shoulders, um, behind the back of the shoulders or behind the back of the neck, depending on what age or stage they're at. Then the last thing to point out is we do have this leg loop here. So if you're nervous about baby coming out of the bottom, if you have a baby who's really prone to standing up, you can use this leg loop to literally just catch a leg and act as a bit of a security feature. However, if your baby sits nicely in the same you've got this lovely positioning, you probably don't need to use it at all. I hope that helps, and I hope that helped, um, helps you understand how to use it. If you have any questions at all, do pop them in the comments below. Um, this is a really simple sling, but a couple of little tricks in terms of getting the tightness quite right can make right, uh, tightness right and how you spread the shoulder can make quite a lot of difference to your comfort. So yeah, comment if there's any questions in the sections below. Bye bye.